So today we have the pleasure of having Professor Larry Phillips from the London School of Economics. I am delighted to have him here because Larry was the great father, or great grandfather of decision science at LSE. And I, I had the pleasure of working with him for more than 10 years when I was at LSE. And uh, he's not only one of the founders of decision analysis, but also a visionary. And today he's talking about the future of decision analysis, I believe. And uh, I, we are really grateful, Larry, for having you here. Um, he has also uh, a group of colleagues that are going to be introduced that are working on the very exciting uh, virtual world of decision conferencing and um, decision analysis. Uh, and the team is Patrick Sherry, Paul Gordon, and Edward Put. And Professor Alberto Franco, my colleague, is kindly being the moderator today. So uh, back to Back to you, Alberto and Larry, and thank you again for this uh, opportunity. We are here to learn. Thank you, Gilberto. Uh, today, uh, we have a very exciting webinar delivered by a very strong and experienced team. And so I would like to start by introducing formally our speakers. First of all, uh, Larry Phillips is a, an emeritus professor of decision sciences at the London School of Economics. And he's also director of Facilitations Limited. Larry will show us today uh, how integrating social and technical considerations makes decision analysis a truly socio-technical discipline. And then we were going to have uh, Patrick Shari, who is a professor from the business school uh, at the University of New South Wales in Australia. He is an expert facilitator with extensive experience working with senior executives and diverse, across diverse industries. And then we have uh, Paul Gordon, who is uh, the CEO and technical director of Catalyze Asia Pacific who is working on transforming the way the, way the world makes decisions uh, that matter by using structured, uh, conscious, collaborative, transparent decision-making processes. And finally, we have Edward Put, who is also a director of Catalyze Asia Pacific and leads the New Zealand operation. And Edward's roles include facilitation, design and implementation of decision-making and decision support processes, uh, senior client and stakeholder engagement, program management and business development. 